Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie Bree, and I'm doing another 25, top 25 list. Today I'm doing the top 25 G.I. Joe action figures. Now, this is going to be mostly a real American hero, but some of their modern counterparts are good too. Um, but this is ignoring the classic 12-inch uh, line, for the most part. So, number 25, we have Snow Serpent. This was a later uh, release. It came out, I believe, in the 90s, 9091 in that ballpark. This is a Cobra soldier who's more or less dressed up like a um, snow trooper from Star Wars. Um, I think this is a pretty cool toy. Gives you a little variety to your villains. Number 24 is your generic Cobra soldier. The, 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 just the Cobra soldier with the mask and the helmet. And the, the uniform and the little Cobra logo on their um, on their lapel or whatever. Th this is a pretty good toy. You want uh, army builders want you want a handful of Cobra soldiers in your collection. You know, ideally, you don't want a hundred of them, please, because then you're taking soldiers away from other collectors. Uh, so please do not be obnoxious and buy a hundred of these guys. But you know, six to twelve is okay. If you get over that, you're being obnoxious. Number 23 is Cobra Officer. You don't need too many Cobra Officers. I would say one Cobra Officer for every, I don't know, six Cobra Soldiers. So if you have 12 Soldiers, you need two Officers. That's enough of the generic uh, G.I. Joes. Those are all good, iconic toys. Number 22 is Beachhead. Beachhead is one of the Joes, one of the better Joes. He's, a, I believe, a leader in the G.I. Joe ranks. And he's a pretty solid toy, and I really like Beachhead. Number 21 is Breaker. Breaker almost didn't make the list because I was going to put Mainframe in this spot. But then I realized Breaker's a better toy. Mainframe is fine, but looking over the list and you know moving things around and just re really thinking about it, Breaker is the, 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 the toy you want. You can do without Mainframe. Number 20 is Falcon, or Lieutenant Falcon. He's from G.I. Joe the movie. You gotta have him. He's he's the punk. Joe, you know, the rebel. The, the, the one who, you know, thumbs his nose at the rules, so to speak. Number 19 is Hooded Cobra Commander. Hooded Cobra Commander is for when he's at Cobra Headquarters and he's giving his speeches or he's making his plans you know, he's coming up with um, scheming, you know, whatever. you Or whenever he's just, you know, marching in the Cobra Parade. This is when you want the hooded Cobra Commander. Number 18 is Flint. Flint is another one of the leaders. I don't remember his rank, but Flint is a solid toy. He's a good character, and his action figure is a, is, is, is a solid representation of, of military personnel. Number 17 is um, Tomax. He's one of the, uh, I believe, one of the Dreadnoughts. Now, I'm putting Tomax on the list. Uh, you could swap him out for his brother. I think it's Zamet. It's the same fucking toy. Whatever. Uh, but pretty solid, pretty solid toy. Number 16 is the Emperor himself, Serpentor. Serpentor is a better character in the um, animated series and the film. I don't know about the comics, never read one. Uh, but he's not as good of a toy as he is a character in the cartoon because he doesn't look anything like the character in the cartoon. He's got a weird face that I am not a fan of. It, it, it just looks weird, and I don't know why. Um, good toy, but not a great toy. Number 15, one of the most iconic G.I. Joes, um, and he is one of the high-ranking G.I. Joes. It's Duke. But the reason why he's not higher on my list is there's more interesting-looking toys in the line. Also, he's your basically Nazi stand-in. He's your Aryan blonde goddess, you know, god or whatever. You know, your, your chiseled soldier. He's your fucking Hulk Hogan, you know. And and that's 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 a strike against him. Number fourteen is the original twelve inch GI Joe. The original twelve inch GI Joe is iconic and pretty fucking cool. 
Now, the toy line quickly went off the rails, but I don't guess. Number 13 is Storm Shadow. He's the um, Cobra Ninja. He's pretty much the only Cobra Ninja you need because he's, one, the best-looking one, and two, he's the most iconic. Number 12 is Cobra Viper. Um, now, I might not be getting the name correctly, but this is the sci-fi soldier. This is the robot Cobra soldier. So I'm, I'm calling it Viper, but I don't know if that's actually what it's called. But this is the one that was cannon fodder in the cartoon. They just got blown up to shit because you couldn't kill Cobra soldiers, but you could blow up Cobra robots. Number 11 is Lady J. Uh, a woman made the list. Lady J is a good, she's, she's G.I. Jane. She's your generic, stereotypical, you know, butch female um, army soldier. But she's still iconic, and she's a pretty good toy, and I, I respect her existence. Number 10 is General Hawk. Now, Hawk comes in a variety of forms, but General Hawk is the one you want. Um, if you're only going to buy one Hawk toy, that's the one you want. Um, because his promotion was earned and, um, you know, helps fill out the ranks. Number nine is one I actually own, uh, one of the few toys I own on this list. Um, I love Nemesis Enforcer. He was really cool in the movie. He was really iconic. The toy is a mostly accurate representation of him from the, from the movie. Not 100%, but close enough. It's a damn good figure. Number eight is Zartan. Zartan is the beginning of the gimmicky G.I. Joes. So once they go full-on gimmicky, I'm out. You've lost me, I'm done. But Zartan was a, at least a, a, a rock-solid uh, gimmick. You know, he's Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible. He's the master of disguise. The man of a thousand faces. Number seven is my favorite female Joe. This is Scarlet. I like Scarlet because she, you know, doesn't give a shit. She does her thing. You know, she's badass. And she's a hot as fuck redhead. And I love hot fucking redheads. Number six is the Baroness. By far the greatest female villain in all of um, comic books. By far. Baroness is rock fucking solid. My favorite part of Rise of Cobra was the Baroness. And I know a lot of people didn't like how she didn't look like the Baroness. She didn't have to. None of them looked like what they were supposed to. They shouldn't. It's a movie. Get over it. But I love the Baroness. She's just so iconic. And she's a legit good Cobra officer. She is a good leader. She does not put up with Cobra Commander's bullshit. Number five is Destro. Probably one of the most iconic looking toys in the franchise. Damn good looking toy. He's got a few different versions. Um, stick to the first two or three versions. After that, it gets a little weird. But Destro is a pretty fucking solid toy. I love Destro. Number four is Shipwreck. Um, when I was a kid, he was my favorite G.I. Joe. Now, not so much. But he's the, the out-of-place Joe, you know, he's the naval officer, he's the, you know, the um, the sailor, you know, the seaman, if you will. And he's still a good-looking toy. I like the aesthetic, the design of the toy. Number three is high, high, high marks for me. This is not just a great G.I. Joe, but an overall fan-fucking-tastic action figure. One of the best action figures in the line. It's Sergeant Slaughter. He's great. Iconic. Loved him in the WWF. Um, loved him in G.I. Joe the movie. Rock solid toy. If you don't have a Sergeant Slaughter in your collection, your collection is not complete. Number two, I am not a fan of the character. I hate the character. I've already talked about this elsewhere. But I love the toy. The toy is fucking awesome. It's motherfucking Snake Eyes. One of the greatest ninja action figures of all time. Never mind the Ninja Turtles. Snake Eyes is where it's at. If you want a solid ninja action figure, you need a real American hero, G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes, in your collection. 
Number one, greatest G.I. Joe action figure of all time. This is Helmet Cobra Commander. The standard soldier Cobra, I mean, soldier. This is Cobra Commander. The iconic. Blue uniform, blue helmet, silver mask. Motherfucking great fucking toy. Um, I just love the, the aesthetic. I do not have version one Cobra Commander. I like all of the versions of Cobra Commander. I generally have a one figure per character rule. I am breaking this rule for Cobra Commander. I'm not going to buy all of them, but I'm going to have multiple Cobra Commanders. He is the a bumbling fucking idiot as a leader, but I don't care. He's a cool fucking looking toy. Just looks so fucking awesome. And every redesign of Cobra Commander fucking works for me. So fuck yeah. Awesome. That's my list. Stay cool.